Listen, I'm Bear DeGidio. This is the Jackson Podcast. I'm sitting here with the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend from down under. You already know what it is. He looks like he's Dagestanian, but he is not. It's Craig Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Dagestanis love the pearl necklace, I hear. Oh, no. oh my We're God! We're starting off oh. like that. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was since, since you went there, man. What's up? What's up with your with your shirt? Man? So I'm, I'm just uh, representing the jiu-jitsu community. You know <laughs> what? what I mean? What? Oh no, Bouchesha ain't gonna like that. I got a spare one for you, Bear. No, I can't wear that. I cannot wear that. So, I don't even know how to do a reverse arm darts. Darts. Like why is it, everything gotta be reverse? The reverse darts. That's what I put you in. Everything's reverse. I mean, I know you know I like the reverse triangle, but everything, every every move you do is reverse. Because I like to learn from the opposing side. Because I'm normally the one getting choked out. So uh, when did you come out of the closet? Uh, when I first laid eyes on Utah. Oh, 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 oh. You had that shirt on before you met me, son. Hey, don't, hey. don't put that even on me, Ricky Bobby. Craig, Craig, we trained before, and he's like, "Do you think Rampage would powerbomb me?" Oh my god! I want to see that after this. A power bomb. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Now he's look, he, how much you weigh? You too big to get power bomb now. One seventy five. Oh yeah, I could power bomb easy. But I haven't <laughs> I haven't been training like that for a while. My lower back is not what it used to be. You Why? ain't pulling God anymore? No, nah, mm-hmm. I don't pull God. I don't <laughs> hey, but you know what? That's not what I heard. No, no, no. You probably heard a whole lot of shit. <laughs> You've been training you hey, he been hey, who in the hell he been training? He been hearing whispers. Bobby Green, you've been, yeah, you've been training with Bobby Green. You've been hearing whispers, motherfucker. <laughs> Smoking that down <laughs> under. Hey, has Bobby I've been hearing whispered. whispers. I, I've been hearing whispers that, that uh, you and um, your boys over there, Nicky Rod, y'all, y'all, y'all start off by going north south position. Y'all start off rolling that way, north south. Today is Valentine's Day. I'm, I'm down for it. You know? <laughs> hey, happy G Day. Happy G Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good day to celebrate love. Yeah, I'm single. I'm single. Happy G Day, brother. I'm Thank si- you for hey, coming. Ain't that right? You're See? single, but you got your girl sitting right here. That's crazy to me. She ain't single. That's I am. crazy to me. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm so sorry for him. He's a good person uh, underneath this. Whatever he's got here hey, underneath that, he's a good person. Hey, 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 tell him. They ain't, they ain't using no real motherfucker, huh? No real G, huh? They don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. She Man, know what's up. you guys up. are getting all hot and bothered right no, now. No, 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 no. She know what's up. She the, she the right one. She know what's up. She She's single. I mean, I'm single. She not. She know what's up. She wow. good. She good. Hey, I'm single too. What's up? Oh my holy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, no. right. Okay, yeah. okay. Media okay. trained. <laughs> she, she good. She good. Hey, uh, first of all, before we even jump into this, Luke was showing Tony Ferguson his truck and he got a kill switch in there. He said it's to protect him from his car getting stolen from the cartel. Yeah. Is that true? The cartel takes your car. Look at you you put that up about um oh. Gordon Gordon getting his TRX jack. That was he, funny. Because he don't have the kill switch. You don't got the right, you got to get the right thing. Wait, what did let's Gordon not, do? Let's not get into the, the details of what it is, but, yeah, but let's what just did, say it's a special little do? switch. Yeah, you got to be a special person. You got to understand the game. If you buy a truck that's going to get stolen, you better get something that's going to Where you get the you. kill switch from? I've never seen that before. Got to get one, dog. But uh, you can't tell us. Is it? Like, I mean, we gotta, we gotta. Something's gotta it's like hey, remain. See, you know hey, what I mean? Like I don't know if y'all picking up on this. It's but. like technique. There's techniques you don't really want to share all the time, right, Craig? I mean, it's like, it just makes 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 your, your game a little more special. Craig, I don't know if you're picking up on this, but for some reason, me and Luke in, in competition, we, we, we compete with each other all the time. Like, so now nah, he's not going to let me know about the kill switch. I, I, Rampage, we, we talk about kill switch. He got, the, he, got the, he got the fresh leather sweatpants on. I'm trying to find out. I gave you, you that. You ain't fitting in those. You ain't fitting in those. Not those. I'm going to get my size. You I got you one of this. I broke one. Nah, hell no, no, no. You won't wear tight ass? Not that, no, not those colors and not that, what they say. <laughs> I have a father. What do your father say about you wearing a shirt like that? Uh, I mean, he's proud. He's proud. He's proud about it, you know? <laughs> He goes to the, he goes to the, uh, the parades with yeah, you? Yeah, maybe a bit too proud. I don't know. <laughs> what, why do you wear that? I mean, people think you just look scary, so we lean into it. You know what I mean? Only I women know. think that, though. Only women think. Men don't really think that. You know, women go, Women are very sexual, right? When they see jujitsu, oh, you land between another man's legs and stuff like that. I, I, when I first started, I never thought anything gay about it until a woman said something. Because for for a woman, I think they're just jealous. Really, he might, he might have a point. Because women, a lot, they, a lot of jealousy. They get turned those, on. They get those turned crevices, on from you know. That's true. Women get turned on by, by being in those positions and stuff like that. We don't think nothing sexually. Well, I don't think nothing sexually like them. I don't know if I hope sexually. Sexually. Hey, I got big lips. I gotta be, I gotta say we're slower or something. Can you imagine Rampage and her just going at it? Man, I, leave her out of there. That's my assistant. That's why uh, y'all assume that she's my girl. That's why I can get away with all that. Yo, hey, Craig, what move you think he <laughs> That's do just to my her? assistant. What do you, what do you think the first no move girlfriend. he does to her in the bed? Ooh. I never done anything Scissoring? sexually to her. Scissoring? Yeah. Scissoring? It's scissors. Wow, okay. Wow, it's like scissors. <laughs> so it's three against one now. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was told. I was, I was, I was on your side. <laughs> really? 
Well, he the one that told me. He, t- he told me you was a bit. I didn't sus. even notice uh, it till he sh- till he walked in here. He said, hey, "Listen, he said, listen, be nice to this guy. He a bit sus, and you know how we equal <laughs> opportunities. You know, I don't have a problem with gay people." And he was like, "You know, I don't." Yeah, he don't either. But he t- but he was telling me like, make sure you make fun of him for being gay, though. Well, he told me and he said, "Hey, this is like an intervention. We need Rampage to come out of the closet already." It's been like- <laughs> <laughs> oh my! This guy I, got jumped. I heard, I heard Rampage might be moving in the house. You're moving in my house? Hell no! Why not? I, I heard I, I heard you ain't got no bed in your room. I got, I got no bed. I got Luke Rockwell the other day went to go. He went to my house to take a nap. They're hey. rebuilding all the rooms. Luke goes, "You got no bed in your room." I go, "Yeah, sleep on the floor." There was ten guys doing construction. I don't know if they're really doing construction. I was like, they were just in there wearing tool belts. I was like, "What is going on here, dude?" That's One dude was it. folding his clothes, wearing a tool belt. I was like, "What?" It was like village, like the village, <laughs> the village people. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Like vacuums are going off, tools, hammers. I was like, "What the fuck?" He's like, I, Yo, I, need, sleep. I need to take a nap. I, I said, take a nap. We're rebuilding dog. my house. We're redoing the walls and we're reconstructing. He goes, "That's fine." I said, "All right, up to you." Yeah. He shows up. Every single floor has a construction crew. I go, "I don't know where you're gonna nap, but good luck, dog." But yeah. the, the refrigerator is ready for you. I like the pantry better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, I got a crazy story about Luke Rockhold actually. Craig, before we even jump in, you we got the guest here. He hasn't said a single word. Yeah, he's been, he been flaming me. He's no, a no, flamer. No, no. no, he hasn't said one I word. I got flamed by a flamer. <laughs> I haven't seen him say one thing. I think you just being sensitive today. I've been very Tony accept- Ferguson. Very accepting of you actually. Oh, he's the nicest guy in the world. Cuz he you you used to do do all that stuff, right? What's up? But like you guys you do whatever you like when you travel, right? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. You used to what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I'm not. Agreeing. You do. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not agreeing to nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, cool. So no, I, you know, I think I think Craig and Rampage could have a great time in, in Japan together. I think oh, Japan's Japan. You just did Japan, huh? Rampage yeah. is very popular in Japan. Japan likes jujitsu. You guys could do like little duel, like little seminar, nah, don't little be like. Little, to see me. Don't be trying hey, to see I'm me just saying, another country. This with could this be. <laughs> this could be constructive. I'm not gonna lie. I think it could be good. I think you guys can play off each other. No, I think no, I, I'm not playing off nothing with this nigga. <laughs> Fuck that. Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> when I break down the real reason why you're here, I really do want to ask you a question. How did you even get linked up with Volkanovski? Because that's why he's here, guys. It's UFC fight week. Yep. Luke Rockhold said, hey, I want to get some training in with Volk. I said, that's not going to happen, but we'll get you Craig Jones. And then uh, Rampage said, yo, we got to get a podcast going with Craig Jones. He's supposed to fight Gordon and Luke and, and I don't know where they're supposed to fight in Cambodia. That didn't happen. So Israel, yeah. Yeah, Israel. so start, start off the break. That's How did you get linked up with Volk? I trained with Volk years ago in Melbourne when I used to live back in Australia. And then he hit me up. I was living in Puerto Rico with a DDS and Puerto Rico was a horrible time. We were hating it. So he hit me up and he said, do you want to coach older my fighter do you want to be the grappling coach and i was like fuck yeah get me out of puerto rico into vegas but that was obviously very bad on my health to spend five weeks partying in vegas you yeah, partied yeah, yeah. yeah. every yeah. week yeah. yeah i could see him partying in vegas for tell, five about, weeks. tell us about that how, how the ufc reacted because they, they they accept you back now but um once you're a, you um you made a speech on on the mic after you won, after you, oh. you became the uh the number one grappler in the game number one grappler in the, world, yeah. one grappler in the game you beat a uh, Philippe, what? Philippe, yeah, Philippe, yeah. Philippe, and and you know Gordon's questionable. The, we'll see how it goes, how that all goes. But um, you had a good match with Gordon too. Was, like, you had him almost there, right? It was pretty. He beat Gordon Ramsey. <laughs> you beat Gordon no, Ramsey. No. no, I lost to him three times, but it was close. You know, it was competitive. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you had times. him. He had his arm turned yeah, out, wait, bent t- out. T- tell me but, about and this. And then UFC we go thing. back, go back to the UFC. You had, you had your um. How did they? How did they feel about? The words you spoke on the mic and, and how did that re- reflect? Uh, well, do you know what it is? A nose beer? A nose, a, a nose beer? I mean, yeah. you're hanging out with Chuck Liddell in Vegas last <laughs> last two nights, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I hung out with Chuck Liddell for a whole week almost. I shouted out nose beers in my victory speech. And obviously, I think some Americans don't know what that is. No, right? I never heard of it. You sh- are you I'm serious. With me? No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm being serious right now, though. Yeah, yeah, we gave the I've shout been, out. Yeah, you know, I, I've been a proper, you know, what, what, I've been proper cunt verified what, in, in what, Australia, what, so I what kind is of have an idea. What is it? Would be cocaine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You okay, shouted that out. Yeah, but I mean, it's Americans. I didn't know what I was saying. So. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, and it's free speech. Yeah, he said. He said, "Let's go to Hakkasan. We we'll get on the nose beers tonight. Let's go." Oh, they got mad. Yeah, and I didn't even make it to Hakkasan. He made it to the back of the backstage area before the press conference. We started quick after that, you know, but. <laughs> the UFC were very, very cool with it to be honest they didn't even give a fuck they thought it was funny yeah 
I think oh, they so shared. you were good. So, I think so, they shared it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, so who I has? Did, so who had a problem with him saying that? I thought I thought there was a problem. Maybe I don't. I was mis, misread, misinformed. I think they were into it for some reason. Hey, I think if I said cocaine, maybe I'd be in trouble. But yeah, as we yeah. Well, the, the clip went viral. That's for sure. It that's was on. True, yeah. it, it was all over the internet. But I do like the point that Luke brought up. You had an amazing battle with Gordon Ryan. Before we even jump into that guy, uh, what's up with that? You said his car got stolen. Oh, uh, yeah. I think uh, I saw him put a post up the other day, and they said that his uh, TRX got stolen out of his driveway. <laughs> Is that something that you set up? Because you seem like that type of person would have your- I wish it was me, yeah. <laughs> your, guy, your guy friends did. <laughs> but I pretended it was me, actually, because I, I was in Kazakhstan. There was a guy driving a TRX around there, so we had some photos of it. So I was pretending that I stole his truck, but he got his truck back, unfortunately. Did he? he, did, yeah, he, he get it back? Uh, he got, where was he at? He's he, in Texas? He's in Texas. He's in And Austin. they got it before it got across the border? Yeah, they got a quick eh? because it was yeah. like uh, well, a tracking, looked- tracking device in it. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, damn. He need one of those things you got. I got, I got a bag. They, 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 they try that. They drive in like multiples across the border every day. They're trying. So like a lot of the border units will see him coming. That just they just know when a TRX is getting close to the border. It's probably not theirs. Because you don't want to take a, your TRX across the border if it's yours anyway. No, it's like the, no. the cartel loves them because they're like they're like race trucks and they can put machine guns on them and run them to the desert. They're just the craziest but, truck but ever. The, but the cartel, they're rich. Why they just don't buy them? Because they don't like everything. They, they want to save money. Free. They yeah. want to save money. Like, but, hey. they, but they got a lot of money. Yeah, but they're, those things are hard to get. And trucks and they, the TRXs are kind of like can make continue. You, you got TR? What do you do? You drive like a, a a big truck, or do you drive like one of those beat, little Volkswagen? Beat well, I, you know, I was thinking that Volkswagen. That is what I drive. Is it really? Yeah. Not, bright, bright pink. I can the van. No I mean, cap. I'll take you for a spin to Mexico. No, nah, no, nah, I'm okay. I, <laughs> I drive my. I, nah, okay. <laughs> a little surf trip. <laughs> little yeah, a little surf trip. No, down to honestly, though, honestly, what what do you drive though? A big pickup truck over there down under. Man, I honestly am traveling full time right now. Spend a lot of time in Southeast Asia and Thailand, particularly. Obviously, something pulls me out there. But yeah, uh, I drive just a little Toyota, nothing crazy. Yeah. So, so what do you be doing in Thailand? Why are you smiling? Are you aware? Because you said some... Thailand, I knew, I, I knew it. I just some for some reason Thailand. I've been out there twice to do movies. I know what goes on in Thailand. I've seen some stuff. I like. Yeah. Hey, you ever had a little reach around? You no, 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 no. I don't partake. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't Hello. partake. No. You, you don't even check, eh? No, no. I don't. I don't have to. I don't have to because I can tell right away. I can tell right away. Damn, I've never been. I never, I've never been tricked in, in person. Tell Whoa. what? If no, what, what gender a person is? Man, I can tell right away in pictures. Sometimes people like that. I've been tricked, but in person, right away. We made a video down there where we, you know how people do gender reveals for babies, but we did it with lady boys. And that uh, was you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw you on TikTok. You think you could guess him? <laughs> no, I was right every time. No, I wasn't. I wasn't on video. I wasn't. Because we, because yeah. actually, we mixed up some of the balloons. We misled people with those. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's why I thought. That's why I got mixed up. Yeah, yeah I was like, no way. There was a, no way. There was a, was a dude. The last one. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that video. Oh, that was uh, you. Funny man. Yeah, now I know what I'm doing. Yeah, you funny man. You always be on TikTok. I like. I like. I like. Um, I like TikTok. This is a good platform. What do you look at? Bitches. <laughs> lady, lady boys too. No hell yeah, no yeah. hell no. Why? Why? They got, I got this. I got the same thing they got. I don't give a fuck. You know, there's a there's a foolproof test for it. If what if they can put their arms together like this? It's an elbow, it's an elbow extension test. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Let me see. Oh really? They can't go. They go too far. Yeah. Usually, Asian women's elbows hyperextend slightly, and the dudes look straight. I yeah. didn't know that. And, and then, uh, men, we, we, most men, we can't put our elbows together like this. So you tell them, you tell them to do that. If they could do it, straighten your arm all the way out though. Straighten your arm all the way oh, out, and t- no, then you can't no, do no it. Chance. But we was in Vietnam, and somebody <laughs> told us about it, and it was like a little, it was like a little. Um, then a little small guy, and he was like probably the same type of guy that wears shirts like that, and he and he did it. So I was like, oh, it's not foolproof if this guy could do it, but most guys can't do that. Well, I think if you're t- if you're already testing it, you're willing to forget. You know what I mean? Like- no, no, you know, no, you want to know. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, while we on this subject, real talk. Since I did those two movies in in, in Thailand, I come back now. I'm I'm kind of se- second guessing any girls, and that's why I wouldn't. I don't like girls that do plastic surgery. I don't like the, all the the lip fillers, the plastic surgery, and stuff like that because. You know, they're, they're starting to look like trans men. They're starting to look like transformers. The, the, the real girls starting to look like transformers because those are the ones that's getting all the plastic surgery. Am I, am I right, though? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, they're getting their Adam's apples removed and stuff like that. You know about all that, huh? I have to guess. Are you into girls with all the fake surgeries and stuff? Do they, you know, some guys Ooh. like that stuff. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm into anything, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your type? What's your type? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just love that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I, I like, bring up Thailand and you smile. That says you've had some experiences for sure. Yeah, I've seen some stuff. Well, I, I've seen some stuff. Like, I, I'm, When's the last time you've been down to Thailand? When was the last time I was there? It was, it was in 23. Bob Sapp dildo. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out there with Bob Sapp. I was there for a month training with Bob Sapp. So I've been out there uh, three times, I think, now. Mm. Yeah, I got I, some wild shows where they shoot birds out. Yeah, I saw, out. I saw that. I was, hey, I was with. I went Did to one of those. I went to one of those ping pong shows, and, and I was with one of my friends that was doing a movie with us. And he, you know, the paddles, and she was shooting them out. He said, "What? I'm gonna see if I could put one right back in her." <laughs> He's from Australia too. Y'all some crazy oh, yeah. motherfuckers. And she shot one out. He said, Pow! and went right back in. And I was like, God "No, damn. no, no cap." Back inside. God damn. Well, it hit her down. I don't know if it went right back. <laughs> you had topspin on it, or like you know, they, you, he play, they play ping pong with you. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot of them are older women, so I imagine that skill set takes a while to develop. You know, mm. I like I like an older Asian woman. Have you ever dated an older Asian woman, like a MILF? Like an older Asian woman. I don't think so. Right? Not not Dave, but have you ever What's old? What's old? Like uh 56? No, 48. Yeah. Like like in the fit, late 40s, early 50s. It's hard to tell their age though, you know? But you can tell they ain't no young spring chicken no more though. Where? Hell. You can tell. You can tell they're not you can tell a, a younger Asian woman and an older. She gonna she won't she's not gonna look super old, but you can tell. Come on now. We because he had an Asian, one of his ex-wives is Asian. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. My, I only got one ex-wife. Okay. One of. <laughs> I only get. I only been married once. Have Have you ever had pussy? <laughs> pussy? No. Talk, describe it to me. Talk to me about it. It looked like a bearded clam. A bearded what? Clam. It looked like a bearded clam. A bearded clam. Is that that old Asian pussy you're describing? Yeah. yeah what are you be like, getting? The bearded clam. A bearded like you like it with the hair all over it, like your face. I don't give a fuck about no hair. I don't be eating pussy Is that like real? that. Hey, hey, look at your girl. <laughs> She's getting real, real moused out, dude. No, that's right. We, we ain't I don't care, I don't care yeah. about no hair pussy. I don't, I don't care about that. Ain't no, ain't no hair going to stop me oh, from doing what I got to do. I don't want to hear about the way you be doing the hairy stuff because I just, I <laughs> can imagine kind of like, you. It's, it's just hey, me. I used to fight in I, Japan. I used I know, to fight yeah, in Japan. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he not gay. I just, <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. Now we cool. I was, I was trying to think about the whole thing. Now you, you, hey, you exposed hey. yourself on that one. No, no. This whole time, time we're back. One team. Yeah. Oh, no, hey, bring time. it in. Welcome all to right, the podcast. Uh, all, right, yeah. all right. We start all over again. All right. All right so we heard you guys were rumbling today in the jungle over there. You guys went to go have some mat time? We had a little mat time, you know. We did, did you guys really? Yeah, yeah. We went. Yeah. What did we roll for? Like 40 minutes or something? About 40 minutes. Felt like three hours. Little back. Yeah, felt like quite a long time. And what happened? Who got the best of who? Be you honest with me. Up. No. no, we went. To, we went good. We went good. Did he really? We went good rolls. It was good rolls. You got, Be honest. I got him a reverse triangle one time, and he was way too comfortable though. It was really comfortable. I got, like I couldn't quite get to it like where I wanted to get. You know what I mean? But I was stuck, and he was he was he do was you, chilling. Do you guys have that like um, that that Brazilian jujitsu honor where you don't tap and tail? You guys, is that the code? You guys. Follow. Is that a code? Because I usually just fucking brag about it. For real, I know a lot. I know a lot. Of, a lot of my friends, the Brazilian guys, they don't. They don't like to tap and tell. Well, like uh, when I cross color chuck that guy, you know. I knew it was you. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? Be honest, it was nah, you. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No. You, hey. you train with the gi? I, I used to until black belt. Then I got rid of it. Uh, too much. Oh, yeah. you do have a black belt. Then why do you make so much fun of all the black belts on Instagram? Do I? I just make fun of jujitsu guys because they're a bit weird. <laughs> Mostly, you know. Everybody. Everybody what's what's weird about what's weird about jujitsu guys? The autism and the steroids, probably. Yeah, and well, all and all the back play too. It's like jujitsu has changed a lot. You know, it used to be like about self defense and on the feet. Now it's just like now they just get on their ass and like, come on, come on. <laughs> Everything is like from the from the from the bottom up. You know what I mean? It's, will you, it's just changed. It's will, changed a bit. And that's not my era is a little bit a little different. Will you do the um, modern day jujitsu is like it's just they get on their ass and they and they call people in a lot of the times, you know. Will, will we see you in some jujitsu tournaments and stuff? You know, me and Craig were actually supposed to do something in Israel. Thank God I think I don't think it would have panned out too well for us yeah, bad the, timing. during it's the bad time, timing. you know. But Why, um, what happened? Uh, unfortunately one of the uh the kid who was who was promoting the event and fighting in it, you know what, he he got um, a uh, a form of cancer. And luckily he's beaten it. He's gotten past it. But you know he was the, he was the kid promoting this thing. It was a fight event, and we were like the special feature grappling oh, event that put 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 relevance to the game. And so it didn't work out for him. Good luck to you. Know I'm sure you you bounce back in your thing. And uh, you know maybe one of these days we had a good role. Yeah. And if the price is right, 
Price is right. Again. Price is right. We could talk about I'll it. Do we don't have to talk about. It. We could be about it. You know what I mean? Me and Rampage. Me and Craig, for, you know what I mean? I'll, he can wear his colors, and I'll fly my colors. For me and Rampage, just so we're on the same page, uh, Craig, how good is Luke at, at jujitsu? Oh, he's good. Yeah, really good. I mean, he would probably compete more if the money was in it. You know, but it's really, mm-hmm. there's not a lot of money. No, Nicky Ross has his money in it. Well, I didn't think MMA money, you know what I mean? Or boxing money. That's not what he said when he was here on the show. He said that he won't do MMA because he makes good money uh, and, and, and jiu-jitsu. Well, I mean, he's in the beginning level of, of money, fighting. So, I mean, it's like... Where, I mean, where, Luke's had pay-per-view money. Luke won a belt. I mean, Rampage's got some pay-per-view money. No, I know. But Rampage, Rampage, Rampage was in a good time. No, he Rampage was in a damn good one time. of the highest pay-per-view points of all time for you. Yeah, back when pay-per-views were a real thing. Now it's just it's a little different, but... Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's good money. It's not bad for like the right for the right guys, the right and the right, you know, funnels of money. But uh, but for like what we're doing, Bear's a billionaire. How, how, how come you won't just yeah, do I'm a not, Jackson? I'm, I'm not a billionaire, but first of all, why you want to do a Jackson Jiu Jitsu tournament? And you know, he, this guy is a genius. He can promote anything and make it the hugest, the biggest thing. Why don't you? No, I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm doing an open mat tournament. I already told you about this. So I'll, I'll just expose it here, and you guys can kind of give me your input. So next year or at the end of this year, it's 2024, we're doing an open mat tournament. It's $25,000 first place. Everybody's going to get a call time and you have to choose your opponent. So basically like everybody's going to get assigned a number. If you're number one, you get to look at the lineup of the 25 fighters. You get to choose whoever you want. If you lose, if you stall, or if it's a stalemate because it's not going to be points, it's submission only, both of you are out. $25,000 ain't going to do it. I do it. I, what, what's your, what's your <laughs> it's a winner winner take all. What's my weight class? Oh, I mean, I'll take any weight class. I just yeah, winners you do open weight class? Yeah, I look yeah. and I think, I hey. think I can take. I think I can take him. I think I can take both of them in jujitsu. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think I win the 25 grand. T- uh, think, maybe, bro, he, maybe one of these days we'll get some mats in here. Maybe it'll work. I, I, I roll with, I'll tell you what. Even though I train for a boxing, after my boxing match, I, let me do the boxing, then I start back training. I haven't trained jujitsu in shit, years. Last time I was over at Tonya McKee's gym, maybe the beginning of the 2023, and maybe I did it rolling around a little bit. But let me get back in there. People, people be, be, be su- 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 surprised at hey, my jiu-jitsu. Surprised. I, I, think, I think we can get like a little, little reference point. Like after this, we see like, you know, Craig, Craig's a guard master. You are a guard master breaker. We just do say it like, can he elevate you? Could could you elevate? I think you could sneak around and get a little leg. Did little, did well test that old bag of yours. If, if, if he gets me, if he if he triangle chokes me or unbar me, I kill myself. <laughs> no, let's not even get don't kill yourself. You just wear this. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, hey, 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 you're clear, but if you don't get them up, wait. And things hey, 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 you gotta hey, put, hey, you gotta yo, put. Hey, yo, I ain't trying to get no guy up. <laughs> hey, yo, that's what I want to know. Can you get him up? Hey, yo, no way. Hey, how, really? high, how high can you get him? Hey, yo, hey, yo, <laughs> hey, yo. Listen, I have. It's really hard. Even black belts, it's really hard to uh, armbar me or triangle choke me. Why? Because I, I made my own um, defense. I made. My, I invented my own defense: the armbar, triangle choke, and uh, guillotine. But most thing I, most things I get submitted with is a real naked choke. That's my that's my weakest thing. I give you guys that because I want to get better at it anyway. So I I give you guys if you guys going to submit me, you probably do ankles and real naked choke. But anything else like um, what you call these uh, um, Americanos, uh, Kimuras, Kimuras, uh, yeah, it'd be I'd be surprised if anybody would get me in because I can, I've been known to muscle out of stuff. But I invented yeah. I invented some de- defense, some escapes, mm-hmm. and I, I let people put me in triangle choke just so I can pass their guard. That's how confident I am in that. Even black belts, I don't care. Put me in training, put me on. That's what I do, too. I like that. I like that that stuff. Yo, one thing I want to talk about, because it was breaking news about five minutes before we started this, was it seems that uh, that Ilya uh, stole Volk's belt. Did you see that? No, no. Why are you not been with Volk today at all? No, no. Are you here for Volk's camp? (laughs) Shouldn't you be with Listen, Volk? He's at these, there's downtime. There's a lot of rest yeah. time in between fighting. You got to let guys breathe. He's got like a media schedule with a plus one. So that's got it. all day today and then uh, trains at night. Okay, so about five minutes ago, Ilya stole Volk's belt and then they got into it. Really? Yeah, you might want to call your man. This your is man's? A, hey, we're reporting live one right now. One of, one that's of. one of his names. It looks, looks so, kind of cordial. I'm not going to lie. Bear. Is it cordial? It is it real? Cordial. It looks pretty cordial. We're going through this right now, but it looks like Ilya. T- well, the point of this is the guy already put oh, in he's his taking, bio. He's, he's taking photos. Yeah, he's shoots. taking photos with Taking it. photos with the, the belt. The guy already posted in his bio that he's the champion. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a bit of an annoying guy, Ilya. Yeah, what's the deal with this guy? You like him? 
I don't know. I think he's just funny. Yeah, he's like rocking a turtleneck sweater and stuff. It's just interesting guy. Do you think that the the whole thing of putting champion in your bio and doing the whole nine, pretending you got it before you have it, you think you're okay with all that or is it too much? I don't know. That's pretty weird, right? I mean, I don't want to comment too much because these, these guys are fighters. I'm just a grappler. No, no, no. Go, it's ahead, funny. go ahead. Say it. Say it. some funny shit. This is, hey, free speech. You say yeah, no, yeah. You? It's just, it's, it, but like, it's something to you, like. I think it's weird, yeah. But I mean, he's like McGregor, but without the charisma. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just unentertaining. It. Does he look like McGregor? Yeah, look. he's got the same tattoos. Let me see. Oh, style, he didn't want to. He, he didn't want. He covered up McGregor. Yeah, R McGregor never wore a turtleneck though. You know what I mean? It's, I'm it's sure, a different I'm level. Sure, turtleneck, sure. I think it's more of like that. I'm sure McGregor wore a turtleneck before. He, he's very yeah. fashion. He's very fashionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, he's though? the only yeah. person that I, that's I think is more fashionable than you. Because you're one of the most fashionable fighters I see. I think I think it's I Conor McGregor that. and then and yeah. then you. I could second that. So I, I, I'm sure he's There's levels of game. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then maybe like cold. Sean Strickland. It's be real Conor cold. McGregor, Luke Rockhold, Sean Strickland with no. the white tee. Sean Strickland. I don't I don't rate him in fashion. He's got that leather jacket with the hoodie built in. He's fucking mm. ready for he, it. He, all he, times. Went, he turned like the corner though. If you see him back in the day, he looked like oh fuck, it was hairy. Oh, for real, dude. He had his little skinny little nose thing with his hair fall fall off the side. Like yeah. like he just turned the corner. Like he thought he was just gonna be. I'm gonna be a different person now. You know, he never. I don't think he's never really figured out who he was. He's still trying to figure it out. Oh, he reinvented process, himself. You know? He's a, he's a reinventor. Uh, have you ever reinvented yourself, or have you always been gay? <laughs> yeah, well, I think you're born this way. You know, but you find it in Thailand. Sometimes you come out. You know? <laughs> hey, you told me that backstage. Hey, you said, hey, we went uh, to you like hey. you come around there. You're like, hey, I'm telling hey, you, I, like, you come around. And you're like, listen, I, I mean, you, I'm you, you, this, you go. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave this here. <laughs> I know you. I know you from Australia. When I saw your shirt, I just assumed you was from Sydney. Just leave that right there. I've been I've been there before. The UFC really? went there before. So yes, I, yes. Yeah. So I just I assumed you was for Sydney as soon as I saw you. You, with, you with know it. what's crazy? That see that was the what was that UFC one ten? I don't remember the numbers, but that was like it was like after I won the belt. I think I was still a champion when I went there. I remember because I, I went there to watch it and we met some gay dudes. No, saying how they met you and Mayhem at a gay bar. <laughs> you guys are having a fucking wild hey. time in Sydney. Wild uh, rampage hey. in Mayhem in Thailand. That's a that's a sight to uh, see. No, Sydney. no, but Sydney. you but you know oh, what happened? But you know what happened in um in, in Australia? King's Cross. Did you hear the story about my old my oldest brother um getting going to jail there? He uh, put, <laughs> he um my oldest brother was um scamming the motherfuckers. He put on a um a after party after one of the UFC. <laughs> and said that me, Michael Bisbing, and Chet Congo was going to be there, mm -hmm. and and none three of us were even in the country. Really, it was big news. I thought everybody knew that was my brother. I was so embarrassed. I stopped talking to him for like five, six years. <laughs> we, 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 you know, we, we cool now. But I thought, I thought everybody knew. I was so embarrassed for nothing. Nobody knew that was my brother. I don't think so. I, don't th I didn't even hear about that, eh? Yeah, damn. That was a couple years ago. <laughs> At least yeah. seven years ago. He's from Adelaide, so it's a little yeah. different. Little, uh, little you don't different know, part. A little different part. part of Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my, my ex-wife learned her English in Melbourne. Really? <laughs> yeah. She's Japanese, but she... Really she went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at your hey, seeing if she got hey, mad. There's a little distance in between uh, yeah. Adelaide and Melbourne. I don't know Melbourne. anything uh, about Australia. Oh, you know what I know about Australia? Y'all got some dangerous animals, snakes, and, and spiders can kill you, and you got fucking... Crocodiles and, and, and alligators some, and, and, and sharks. That's what I know about Australia. Yeah. And y'all got some, but y'all got some something you don't care about. Some hot ass motherfucking bitches. I mean, yeah, that is true. But you did, you were talking about gay stuff in Sydney. What were you saying about it? I, I just, I just saw a lot of rainbow flags and a lot of um, rainbow on the streets and stuff like that. And it kind of matched your shirt. That's probably the areas you're hanging out in, though. You know? No, no, no. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm a tourist there. I don't know tourist. where to go. He's, he's new to the city. Hey, when we talk about jujitsu and we talk about everything that's going on with this guy, you guys were supposed to compete. Rampage brings up a good point. Nikki Rod talks about the money and life's not all about the money, but I, I want to know from your opinion, is jujitsu becoming mainstream enough for you guys to make, you know, as much money as UFC fighters? As much money? I don't think so. No, no. I mean, Fire Pass puts on two events a year. They pay the best, but it's only two events a year. Mm -hmm. And I think most of it, I don't, I don't know what the other guys get paid, but I imagine... There's not a huge purse going around for a lot of these guys. So I don't, I, in terms of being a real Makes career sense. path, that's why I have to do all these other things, like spend time with lady boys, <laughs> sell my underwear on OnlyFans, you know? Oh, to, yeah. That's to, you're on OnlyFans? I used to be. I have to diversify, you know? It's hard. I can't rely on one revenue stream of grappling. What about training uh, with Volk? What about being a part of his team? Do, is this something that's paid or you do this for fun? Oh, I get some cash for it, but I'm mostly riding the coattails, you know what I mean? Like getting the MMA perks without actually having to get in there. And then obviously help sell instructionals. Oh, does it really? So is instructionals like a big thing in jiu-jitsu right now? Oh, yeah, that would be the biggest source of uh, revenue. Really? 
He's he's on he's on a world how tour nonstop. It's kind of impressive. And how much is your seminar? How to, much? How much is it? To, I just do a ninety ten split, but most of the time I'm just like I'm too lazy no, to do the seminars. Yeah, I, I hate seminars. I'm saying, but how much it costs typically to, for a fan to go to your seminar? I don't even know. I usually let the local gym decide based on oh. the city. And oh, stuff. okay, yeah. okay. And, and you just get a ninety ten. <laughs> you just get them ten percent, and you keep ninety. Yeah, oh, that's nice. That, 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 uh, you know, I uh, mean, he'll get to go to San Diego. He says he get like two hundred people in San Diego. Yeah, uh, two hundred. Nick and Nate, they, they they they're big with that with seminars. You know, you. Know, the reason why I don't like seminars Nate is because and Jake, huh? Nate when and I don't, Jake, no, kind of take Jake and all that thing. Nobody shows up. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's no. hard for MMA guys. So MMA doesn't work. Why? No, why? No, no one shows up no to MMA shows up. seminars. Why is that? Because Jiu Jitsu is like, it's where the money's at. It's where it's but why is that? Money. There's more people that. that because it's, just, it's more it's it's more gay. Yeah. It's more contact. You know what I mean? It's like, it's. it's Chris, no, one, no one wants to be out here and like pay. We're to, never going to get through anything with these to two. get punched. Chris, this, you, hey, you got my back if, if, if me and these guys jump me a cup. All right. That, he, hey. <laughs> Hey, my wait, coach got my tell back. the camera, what's going on over here? Well, that's Chris, that's Chris Riley. Y'all don't know, Chris Riley helped me um, beat Chuck Liddell. Fantastic. Yeah, um, my, my, I do, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say this right here. I'm going to be honest. Um, me and Chris, we, we didn't fall out, but we had a little problems a little bit because my my my, my boxing coach at the time ch took the credit for the work that Chris Riley did. You know what I'm saying? Chris, Chris Riley is an awesome Muay Thai coach, and we worked hard on, on strategizing and stuff to beat Chuck Liddell, and when it happened... The, the boxing coach tried to take all the fucking, you know what I'm saying? That's uh, what I did with Vox, 100%. You take all the credit? He got out of the Ortega submissions. I was like, you're damn right, that was me, you know? Yeah, yeah you're you, you, you his jiu-jitsu coach. Makes how's, how's the jiu-jitsu angle on this play? play? And I think it's a, I think it's a big angle in this fight. I think Tapori has never really felt anything like Volk's. Volk's pressure, his ability to put bad positions and, and like pinch you on the cage, I think I think it's a huge play. I mean, I, I'm sure you guys are putting some work in. And I'm excited to see that that like that angle of this fight change, you know, because it's it's easy to understand the, the how the stand up works and and the variables for sure. But like, I want to see this kid put put on his back, and I want to see how he grows. You know, that's that's gonna be the question. Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably the clearest path to victory. Biggest skill discrepancy would be on the ground, the wrestling. I think so. It's gonna be yeah. interesting to see. It's like, play out. Bulk's different, man. He's just like to to be able to do what he does. I mean, against even a guy like Islam. Islam is, I've trained with Islam for, for eight, 10 years. And I, it's hard for me to, to work with him. And it, and for Volk to be able to like put him on his back and and, and negate takedowns, that's that's crazy. Man, you that's, train with a lot of people. I wish I, I, wish I would have been like that in my career. I kind of st stayed away from training with a lot of people because I just, because uh, I have a real bad temper. And I know that when um, you train with like other big name fighters, there's like an ego in there. And I know if they tried something with me or they, if I thought they was going a little bit too hard, it's going to turn to a fight. And it, it's happened a couple of times. Uh, Coach Antonio McKee had to put me out of gym and get mad at me because I knock people out in the gym because they, because they pick it up and they, and, and it's like, I'm like, look, I go as hard as other people. So I, I had, took some advice and told me, like, yeah, you shouldn't be going around training with yeah. motherfuckers. Well, luckily, we had, like, at AK, we had a lot of spread out, you know. We had Cormier at light heavyweight. We had Kane. They were, like, kind of like the teeter-totter light heavyweight. Heavyweight, who's going to do that? I was at middleweight, so I was below that. So, like, we would only get in so many confrontations. Then you had Habib and... And Islam at the lower weight classes, and, and and those were like our big our strengths, you Dude, know. And there's a lot of there's a lot of guys in between. We had like Josh Thompson, and I mean even Josh Koscheck, John Fitch, I mean Spike Swick, all these dudes. Yeah. But everyone was like everyone's kind of like spread out. They they had a lot of guys in the welterweight division when we first when I first showed up that were really conflicting. But um, do you find well, that, with our as we grew from there, not much. Do you find it uh, happen uh, uh, often that where? It, the ego's getting there and you rolling with somebody and it turns more physical than you would like for it to be? Oh, yeah. I mean, for grappling, yeah. I mean, most of the time, it's not other high-level athletes. It's when I go to a seminar and then I have to roll with people afterwards and it'll be some, like, random blue belt that'll kick me in the head or something. That sends mm -hmm. me over the edge more than uh, the pros going too hard, you know? The Why no is that? that? No one's ever, like, checking your oil from behind, like, testing you because you, you, you put yourself, I don't even you put yourself out there a lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm done. I mean, I'm, not, I'm, I'm done. done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Just, I'm what, what the what the fuck you bring me? I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, you gotta get you gotta get some good love on the streets, you know, on the, on the road. I feel like these two have a thing. They For know sure. each other very well. No, yeah, what yeah, the fuck no. you bring me on to? This motherfucker said, "Has anybody ever checked your oil and re really hard?" What does that mean? The, oh, put your fingers in their ass. And who? It's, it's a real it's a real move. It's a wrestling he, move. It's a wrestling move. And he said, "I don't even feel it." What the fuck you bring me? Up? What the fuck? All you right, time out. What the time fuck? Out. You, what the fuck you doing here, Barry? What the fuck? What? You don't know what checking your oil means? No. You never done that. 
No, what? American, American style? He hasn't said it. American hey, style. No, 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 no. It's, it's part of the bud drag. Hold on. Time out, time out. It's part of the bud drag. It's part of the bud drag. It's a bud drag. When the guy comes here, look, you, so feed him. you feed him. You feed him through. You feed him through. It's like guys. wax on, wax off. Guys, this is it's a, a Jackson, feed. This is a feed. Jackson podcast. I space from him. Listen, this is the Jackson podcast. My name is Rampage Jackson. I know it's spelled different, but we try to put up a facade, but this is really my shit. Y'all can't be coming on my shit. Talking about checking motherfuckers all and not feeling it. Chill the fuck out. Y'all need to act right in my motherfucking Wait, shit. So it's cool if we feel it? Yeah, if he would have felt it, then all I wouldn't right, have got upset. Hey. I'll kick the Thank kingdoms God. back in the game. Right, hold on. We no, we're not done. Are we we got the, five are we more minutes. The, I'm not going to raise my voice because I'm the least experienced physical martial artist at this table. But I definitely know one thing. <clears throat> Calm down, because if you get him upset, that door is going to be ripped in half, and that's not what I want to see. These are real doors, and he could hurt himself. <laughs> this is my shit. Y'all talk right. Lead it. Next time you come on here, next time you come after your next fight, you don't wear that motherfucking shit. I'm putting a shirt Rampage. on it. Uh, are you, I'm Rampage. I haven't the seen you. I'm putting a shirt on it, Rampage. I got you. Keep it going, Rampage. Yeah, yeah, the pearl necklace too, motherfucker. <laughs> Get that shit back to Izzy. You leave that shit alone, man. <laughs> Izzy, Izzy. Izzy. It's quite nice, actually. Not done. Keep going, right. baby. Yeah, yeah. Listen, are you sell, are you selling those shirts? Is that right, your can thing? Or you can just, I fix that for you? Can I fix that? Oh my god, dude, dude that's, that shirt sold like crazy, yeah. yeah. That's that's your that's your own brand. Yeah, we brought yeah, them out. They sold like crazy. Set, thank you. I was shocked. Yeah. I just want to. I can't upset Rampage. Anymore. We're good at these yeah. okay these pearl necklaces. Yeah, that's that's better. Because we got who, a lot to ask about Volk and Ilya and Luke's getting all hot and horny over here every time he looks at Craig. Luke. Now oh. I, now, Luke, now I see why you got fighters jacking your fingers off and and, and inviting you to bed and smelling your underwear and shit. <laughs> Yo, this might be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever sat through, but I'm glad it's with you. So, look, this is the thing. Hey, this is, can this you is the bring thing. your pearls out, please? No. Oh, my God. No, oh my no. God. I, we're going to put a brand new chain on. Keep going, Rampage. Keep going. We listen, listen. Oh, these are the new Jackson pearls. Yeah, these are nice. These are nice. See, see. Oh, I like the pearls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These look yeah. good. See, y'all, hey, see, y'all some pretty. New, this is our new 5 millimeter, the new silver yeah. Cuban from Italy. You got to send Izzy a couple. See, that's why I worry about y'all jujitsu guys. guys. Y'all pretty boys. Y'all a little bit different. Y'all a little bit different from my generation. Y'all a little bit different from my generation. You ain't even really in my generation. And not, and I'm you, definitely not your generation. Come are you, on. What are you trying, what are you trying to call me old? <laughs> you look great. Hey, I'm Yo, just like, there's pride in their strike force, you know. I'm just saying. Like, like. And so, look, he a model turned fighter, and that's, and 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 he looked like a model too. So that's what that's what y'all do. Right, can we you know get what? back down to business? You know, Are you I, done? I remember Did you get it all I, didn't, I didn't actually start modeling until I won. The undisputed world championship. I was Strike Force champion for for quite a while. Give him some respect. And I never and I never adopted the modeling because the modeling was there. But I said, "Fuck that shit! I'm gonna go be out to right. win another world championship." All right, respect. Then I did it, and then all right. Then last I was question. like, "Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna take that money." All right, last question. You know, I know a little bit about Hollywood, and Chris. Ain't that right? We know a little bit about Hollywood. Yeah, Chris yeah. lives up there. Yeah, you know, a lot of people you reinvented the game, no doubt. No, all right. So, um, have you ever been on the casting couch? <laughs> On the casting couch, and then you wonder why they are the way I, they are. No, I, I, I'm and a, then you wonder why they are. I'm the way asking a serious question. He tell, you know, he's saying a lot, a lot of stuff, stuff up here, man. I just want to know about the, who, who is my co-host. What they be doing on, on the Jackson casting couch? No, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, 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 hey. We only got no couches around here. Easy. You ain't seen that one casting couch here. Easy. No, no, the rampage. You know, I, 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 you gotta like, you gotta massage your way around that thing, and just, just like, you gotta tease the situation because if you, because if you give it up. You give it up, you might get the movie. Or two, or a couple. I didn't know you might make get... the A team. Like, hey. I didn't think you had hey. I didn't think you, you had might make the A team. Hey, not... or you can be on the B team and you can say, hey. I did not think you had that in. No, he might win it for the day. Hey. Yo, Rampage, Rampage, you know I love you, but that was really good. That was good. I gotta give it to you. I did I, not think you had any comedy in you. Yeah, that was that was good. Hey, okay, hey, now that so we all got it out, I, we're I, good. I, I, I didn't hey. Hey, check me. Nowhere. Check me. I don't know where I didn't think he had it in him. No, he had it in him. I didn't know. You brought that, I you pretty, brought that I'm dog sure out of him. I'm pretty sure he had it in him a few times. <laughs> You're hanging around the models. All right, we're moving forward with this. Hey, honestly, I'm proud of everybody's comedy game today. Yo, you are impressing me. I am. You are much more than looks. Uh, you know, you, you say what you say, but there's a reason why he's he's on the B team. He's he's kept his tacting. 
All right, so we're going to, hey, I know know where you're going with that. And Rampage, thank you for provoking everybody to turn into a bunch of mutants. So as we, uh. So you made the whole thing a gay joke. Yeah, Rampage. No, I didn't, though. Yeah, yeah, I did. did. Yeah, you did. He got got a a tie-dyed rainbow (laughs) rainbow shirt that says. Why are you screaming at us? We're on your team. I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. (laughs) And he turned, I turned, and he came in there with the gay shirt. Well, you asked him to wear it. I came, oh, okay, came, yeah. Came yeah. I, I asked somebody, hey, wear your gay shirt. No, he, no, no. He's just, he's just mad because he don't got black pearls. Mm. You ever give him, the, you gave him that pearl necklace from the Jackson? Hey, yo. No, from the Hey, yo. Hey, do we got, hey, do we got hey, black yo. pearls? Pause. Hey, pause. Do we got, pause. Hey, pause. Hey, do we got black pearls? Hey, yo. I think, honestly, I think that's one of the best looks, and it's one of the hottest trending looks at 2024. You know, I, I, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of guys wearing pair of necklaces now, you know. I, 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 listen, I don't judge nobody. Y'all do what y'all want to do. So I want to I wanna ask a real question before we go back into this banter. We only have about 20 more minutes with this guy. All right, so listen, as we go into this, Luke, one thing I do want to touch on, speaking about MMA, is I do feel that you have trained with a lot of high-caliber you know, champions and, and professional MMA athletes, not just in the UFC, but in all mixed martial arts. Rampage, obviously, you've done the same. That's what it takes to win. Craig, you've seen people and you're training people from jiu-jitsu world all the way into the UFC world. Right now, this is probably one of the most dynamic group of MMA fighters there is when we're talking about martial arts as a whole, all the different dynamics and disciplines that it takes to win. I want to know from each of you, who is probably the most dominant jiu-jitsu athlete of all time in MMA? Like, who has made the transition in MMA, in your opinion? I'll start off with you, Luke. Who do you think the most dominant jiu-jitsu athlete of all time is in, in mixed martial arts in the UFC? Myself. <laughs> I mean, if you don't think better, I mean, like, I, I like my game. I think my game transitions well. I think I put it, it on people. It does have good jiu-jitsu game. I think I put it on people, but it's like, it's, there's jiu-jitsu people. People get misconception of what jiu-jitsu is in fighting. They, they think that jiu-jitsu guys are the guys that go for the submissions. I use my jujitsu differently, and like I take submissions when after I beat the the, the, li- the living life, the living life out of him. You sense. know, I like you look at Machida, you look at look at Chris Weidman, look at the, look at what Chris Weidman did all these grapplers. Look what I did, Chris Weidman, the moment I got him. Look what he did to Damian Maya. Look what he did to all these guys. Look what I did to Chris Weidman. It's just the time and the place. I mean, what I did, Paula Costa, if I was stupid because I was tired, like I my nose broken. But when I'm doing my thing, I don't think there was anybody really better than me on the ground. I mean, uh, Habib, Habib was was, yeah. was a gangster. He put. He imposes will. We worked a lot together. And, and I think the reason why our styles are so similar is because we did a lot together and what we did. You know, I think I, that's, that's my, those are my two votes. What about you, Craig? I mean, it's, you're saying guy, someone that's transitioned from pure grappling into Yeah, or someone who uses their jujitsu the, at the highest level in, in the UFC. I mean, it's fucking hard to figure out. I mean, Charles Oliveira probably uses some of the sports specific jujitsu moves. Mm-hmm. To the, uh, yeah, but if you see Charles Oliveira versus a real jiu-jitsu guy or a real grappler, it's because there's a jiu-jitsu and then there's grappling. You look at what Islam would just destroy Charles Oliveira. Charles Oliveira is good <clears throat> in a certain realm, like he's good, but the positional oh yeah stance, I, I the positional stance of what so it d- makes his jiu-jitsu irrelevant. So I mean, that's just like that's, that's a good way to look at it. What about you? I, I'm going to say you. You said UFC. Yeah. Uh, if we're going to go just UFC, I'm going to say BJ Penn. Oh, wow. I, I really like the way G- BJ Penn. Um, I really like the way he executed, and um, I, he was the first person I see uh, use like that. Um, what they call it now, a rubber guard and stuff like that. He's so flexible, man. Yeah, I, he's the first person I've seen, and, and it was like effortless for him. He was just real. It was just real easy for him. But if we want to go like MMA, because I'm outside of the UFC, I'm gonna say Sakuraba. Oh wow! Because Sakuraba. Um, These are two great ones. I, I, Sakuraba. Outside his, of MMA, he's MMA. Just well, outside, outside of UFC. Outside of the UFC. That's what I meant. Outside of the UFC. But uh, Zach Ryan was MMA, but he, he was a pro wrestler first. And mm-hmm. that guy, Jiu-Jitsu, is so good. Because I, I used to roll with Mayhem Miller. And Mayhem Miller at that time was the, the best um, Jiu-Jitsu pra- practitioner that I ever rolled with. Then I went with Sakuraba. He would put me in a, in a move. My, I was really good at defense. He would put me in a move just to set me up to go somewhere else. And then I would have to defend that. And then he already on something else. And that's how he got me with the rear naked choke. He was putting me in other things. I would defend that and, and go. And then he just wanted me to move just a little bit so he can go around and jump on my back. And I've never, I've never had somebody do it at that level. Mayhem used to, used to roll like that, but it wasn't as smooth as Sakuraba. I had no idea that he really wanted my, 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 my neck. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, BJ Penn for UFC, but all over uh, MMA, 
soccer robber. I haven't seen anybody on, on his level. Yeah, it's a unique that bringing up BJ Penn, probably one of the greatest UFC athletes of all time, right? As a fighter, as a complete fighter. What do you think made, I don't, I mean, we've had BJ Penn on here, but we haven't really talked about him much with other other guests. What do you think made BJ Penn so dominant? BJ Penn was, the, he's a nasty boy. He's a nasty boy. He had the Hawaiian hands. He's he's fast, clean. I mean, he won, he got a black belt, won the world championship in three years of jiu-jitsu. Years, yeah. He did it so quick. His flexibility, strength, flexibility is strength. You know what I mean? Like whether, whether you lack flexibility, it creates tension, tension, which lack of strength. So it's like the flexibility is obviously what Craig excels in too. Is the, and what I've always practiced is like really being flexible in every position, being uncomfortably comfortable. Because when you're comfortable in those uncomfortable positions, you become more powerful, more explosive, and you become more dynamic. And that's like what what these great jujitsu guys play. BJ could put it all together, and he was just a dog. I mean, he's a wolf. He's a straight wolf, like we say. A wolf. And he just he he he. I mean, you see how he came across the cage. He had the that jiu-jitsu background but he would just destroy it. i mean who did he run across the cage and carl when he like just clobbered him yeah, across yeah, the cage yeah, and finished yeah, him with a flying yeah. knee in the cage like yeah he's a man bj had had that he's had a lot of range that viciousness you, you like bj for sure yeah he's giving or receiving are you offering <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get him. No, I'm not this gonna, is what I, he does. Yeah, I give up. You gotta give, give up. up. You're yeah, not gonna up. get him. Hey, I commend your effort, but <laughs> you're not gonna get him. I check out of this podcast. I'll finish. With <laughs> no, hey, come on. Hey, I, I commend the effort, Rampage. I know <laughs> you're trying your hardest. I tried my hardest. Come on. No, but in terms of like how you look at athletes in, in the UFC right now, obviously your B team game and the team you guys have, you're all the probably some of the top ranked, I would say, jujitsu athletes in the country, right? You guys are probably running around dominating most what is it that you guys are doing differently that's creating such good talent dear i mean differently i mean we, we're just luckily lucky that we can pull such a high level room together and everyone just collaborate come up with new ideas and stuff like that i mean that's i think that's really it everyone being pretty open-minded and stuff practicing new moves dedicated dedicated group of athletes you know i don't think there's any real secret you know there's no secret techniques there's no secret strategy just work hard with other high level guys yeah, I mean, do you look at it like same thing as like a, a UFC MMA style gym where you guys are bringing in guys that you have to use for sparring or do you guys only use each other? I mean, the, the room's big enough that luckily if we have an opponent coming up in a grappling sense, we probably have someone in the room that's good at, good at that move. So we can like, we can practice with those guys, you know, luckily. Like specific move, like techniques? For sure, yeah. So really? I mean, based on whatever someone's good at, whether it's leg locks or really specific moves, really good at arm bars. We usually have someone that can replicate that. How how often, like, you, say you get a, obviously Volk gets a title fight or you're with Izzy too. Um, you, how often, you, how long do you come into camp for? Because you're a busy man. You got a lot of seminars. You're flying, moving. I think it's Lady a, Boy well, yeah. you know, <laughs> interventions and reveals. That's and in my, con that's in my contract. They come yeah, along. They, they love, yeah, they come with me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it depends how much I'm needed, you know? Like, it's yeah. like, uh, depending on, like, if he's facing a striker, you know? It's like, fuck, I'm not going to come in there. Yeah. What's the point of it, you know? Well, I mean, this fight, this fight too, he is facing a striker, but I think it's obviously, there's, like you said, the angle, the strongest difference in this fight, I think is that angle of of control, top game pressure and position. Let me let me learn something. So if your if your, your guy, uh, what's his name? Vulcan Musties. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, if Vulcan Musties, <laughs> if he's fighting a, a striker, you, he won't work on his jiu-jitsu that much? He will, but I mean, it won't, obviously, like the... Probably the sessions will remain the same in terms of the balance, but in terms of the focus of the game plan and things to watch out for. Obviously, mm. if the guy we don't think is capable of submitting him, mm. it's not going to be as big a priority. Mm. Did you actually used to map out your, your your game plans like that, like based off who you're fighting and what you want to do? I don't. My my coaches used to um, map out the uh, game plans. I I never really paid attention to them that much. You know, I just, I just, um, cause you know my memory is not that good. If we, if we do a game plan, cause for me to remember a damn game plan, we got to do it the whole motherfucking camp. So what they figured out is like, I do whatever repetition they have me do, like the combos and stuff like that. Whatever they had me do over and over and over, that's what I would end up doing. But you know, sometimes they broke it down like Chris, you know, broke it down like stuff like with, with Chuck. But I had already fought Chuck and everything. And, but we worked on, on a lot of different stuff, the, the movement and, and, and we figured that Chuck was going to try to kick, kick me and stuff a lot more, but you know, it, the fight didn't go long enough. 
to do that. But yeah, we, we just worked on certain things. But I don't I don't re- remember a game plans. And I I felt like um, some people like Greg wasn't that Greg Jackson. He was game planning too much. And that's not, you know, that's not what MMA was when I first started. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I still like to yeah. bring that pure style to MMA. Like, you lock two guys in a cage, one going to get his hands raised. Greg, Greg Jackson, he's like, he's, he's all about psychology. And it's not even just playing, like, against you, as the fighter. Well, he would play the judges. Like, he literally, like, I fought Tim Kennedy, and he'd be like, he started doing this thing where he'd be like, beautiful shot, Tim Kennedy, beautiful right hand. And the thing wouldn't even land. But he would he would make it assume to the judges that these things were playing into the factor and like and he would and he would continually like, something would be close great or stupid and he would still make it sound like it was the best thing ever. That's smart. And I, and I was I got I literally I was fighting Tim for the strike force defending my strike force title and I got so pissed in the cage and it would just and it would make me like go harder because I could, all I could hear was just Greg Jackson like saying well, I'm like motherfucker you didn't land shit and then I just got pissed off and I would just go it would like. It was it was throwing me off my game. Is this gym still is it still big in MMA? I haven't heard about him much lately. Greg Jackson. No, I don't think so. I think I, yeah, I think it's just he played that psychology game a little too far. Sometimes, people, you know? people, people but, but like yelling at yelling stuff out, no, like, I mean, out I, loud I, during I think, the fight. The judges it, take he, that into consideration. Mixed, people got mixed in too much, you know. Like he, he had Rashad, then he brought John, and he overlapped people. Like there's a lot of overlap. A lot of guys being brought in. I don't know exactly what happened. I like I like, I like he's 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 a smart dude. Yeah, I like him. But, but yelling. But I think that, I think they mixed the intermixed too many people, and I think things started like to. Yeah, because so so many people yeah. training with him, you can't do that. You know, you got water down. Bringing people yeah. in like these, these big names, overstepping other big names and, and weight classes, and like it's and, it, it's, and they was having to fight each other. It's a dangerous wild, thing. Right? It's yeah. a dangerous thing because egos get involved. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like you were saying. Yeah, yeah you know what? The gym up. But one he, one thing I wanted to touch on, like I was just I was thinking about like who went first? Who went first? Iceman or the Rampage? Whoa. What was like? What was what? I mean, so, like like who got who who got off first? I mean, like you guys are very like similar. Like yeah, you like you know like. Ice is back, and you're like you're fucking coming. Well, you're well, like where where did these where did, where did you originate from? And like did you did you, you who ch- I chopped I, on him? No, I didn't. I didn't copy anything uh, about Chuck. But um, oh, Chuck not. Chuck obviously was fighting uh, longer than me. You know, I'm 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 kind of no, you get similar, but I, yeah, I, no, I, I, I loved I loved I, both. I, didn't, I never copy. I didn't know who I didn't know who Chuck was, and I didn't know who Chuck was until um, I guess I started training with Tito. Yeah, and I was already I was already fighting in, 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 in Pride, but I was still new in Pride. Uh, mind you, I, I didn't watch uh, MMA and stuff that much. You know, I was never an MMA fan. You know, I just like yeah, yeah I, I, I like to do it. Like I don't watch sports. I rather do it than watch it. Yeah, yeah that's, no, that's, that's, that's 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 what I mean. But yeah, I, I saw Chuck doing the the Ice Man thing. But I've been howling ever since I saw Team Wolf when I was a kid. A lot of people, <laughs> lot of people think the thing about me, my persona, wearing the chain and howling and having the name Rampage. A lot of people think that that came when I started fighting. But this everything is it was all I, I already had it since since I was a yeah. kid. Yeah. What's yeah. It, what happened to the chain? When, when did the chain come up? The chain came. Did we, get, did we get that on here yet? No, we're not on here. I don't think cha- the chain we, came. We need to make you a real chain, like a real real. Dude, like, I looked into Jackson, it. It's going Jack, to cost too much. It's going to cost too much. The chain. I'm going to wear. It? Yeah, but the we're chain. Do, we're doing pretty big numbers now. I'm just saying. Then. Well, I'm just saying. It's, I, I, mean, I already nice. mapped it out. I already mapped it out. That chain uh, is a special way to got to make it. Got to be hollow. Oh, it, oh, it got to be. Yeah, it, all of our chains that we have, the real gold, the real silver chains, Rampage wanted his to be custom and hollow so that way the links are bigger because he wants it to heavy. hang or else yeah. it'd be too heavy. Yeah. Because if we were to make that solid gold, it would probably be like What's three, four hundred thousand. Yeah. So, Ooh, so expensive. We, we scaled it down. We went with a 10 millimeter cube and that's actually our best selling chain. I think we can get the one day. You think so? I think we can get maybe the one. Maybe out of silver. Maybe out of hey, silver. Let's just, keep, let's just keep pushing. Yeah, right? yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe out, of, out of silver. But, but, when we hit 100,000 subscribers, which we're already at 85,000, and I will get us custom Rampage chains made that we'll all wear that day. Me, you, Ryan Sheckler, Luke Rockhold, we'll all wear them, our, our four or five hosts. We also have some new shows coming with Twitch. We have shows coming with P-Rod, so we have oh, some dear. really, you really not, cool. He stepped it up. We have some really cool yeah. shows. Four of those things. So yeah, we're yeah. going to make a few of them. We're going to have go everybody wear them. Why? But do, I, do I get to take it home? Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> no, see, no, 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 no. Okay. It's I, not going to happen anyway. This hey, podcast is going to shut the channel down. Are you kidding me? We just, we just lock up. With well, this, this is what I got from Luke, just so we're all clear, so the podcast community knows. I say, hey, Luke, <clears throat> I just spent $45,000. I, I bought a brand new ring. I, I got brand new mats. It's going to be here February 28th. We're setting up the whole gym because we're doing a behind-the-scenes documentary of Rampage Jackson. Um, he's going on this, this tour, this world tour, to go smash Shannon Briggs in Dubai or Qatar. And... Uh, 
I got a text message every morning at 7 a.m. from Luke Rockhold saying, yo, what up, dude? And I'm like, yo, what's up, Luke? He's like, where's the mats at? I said, Luke, I talked to you yesterday. The mats are going to be there on the 26th. He goes, hey, bro, way to ruin the whole vibe and not create anything that you said you were going to do. So why, Luke? He said, because he said, you said there was going to be mats. I said, Luke, the, 20, the 26th of February. This is what he does every morning. Hey, where's the mats at? I said, Luke, the 26th of February. They're coming from Japan. Rampage's ex-wife is building them and then sending them over. I go, what, what are you mad about? And every single morning I got this guy blowing me up. And then you know what he did today because you were coming? He goes, how do you have Craig Jones in town and you don't have mats for the guy? He's yelling at me on the phone. I go, Luke, it's 7 a.m. It's 7 a.m., Luke. I haven't even had coffee yet. He goes, I already ran three miles. You're lazy. And then he hangs up the phone. You got a point. You got a point there. You know, you got. Can we get some wall mats too, please? See, you see what I'm saying? It's never enough for this guy. You give him an inch, he'll take a mile. As we move forward with this, Volk has a big fight this week. Okay. We're in here. UFC Anaheim. We're at the Jackson House in Newport Beach. You guys smashed each other this morning. <laughs> we can't, dude. We gotta be. <laughs> we, keep going. No one, no one said anything. Yeah, but you smirk I, it like that. You make me I, like. I, can like I continue? Go. Can so, we? Can we? Can we move okay. on? Okay. So, I mean, what what will it take for a guy? And I know you're you're with him and you're on the team, but for the community at home, the MMA community wants to get a little behind the scenes look. That's why we have you here. You're giving us the juice, right? Um, not literally. What will Volk have to do to win this? <laughs> <laughs> win this fight i mean i think he's better than Ilya everywhere so i think as long as he doesn't get clipped or anything doesn't get caught i think it's going to be pretty decisive you know Got it. i think people look past because of the last islam fight but i don't think that's like representative of where he's at but people are talking about the him being too old the 35 year old curse or whatever but i mean i think that's just marketing yeah well 35 is not too old for a damn mma fighter no no glover got a belt like at 41 42 was he 41 42 yeah yeah. Man, Glover, man, he he. I underestimated that guy. He's tougher than what he, what he. I I forgot I fought him. How do you forget you fought Glover? Sure. Man, he hit me in the back of the head, and I remember like boom, I bounced off the mat and jumped back up. You Glover, fought him in Chicago. I never won in Chicago. Yeah, he, you fought him in Chicago. I, I remember won. that. Now. I want. I, I'm calling out everybody that kicked my ass, <laughs> and he's on that list. You want to box him? Yeah. No. Yeah, I knock him he's out. He's got heavy hands. I don't give a fuck. I he's, training with, he's training with <laughs> what. With the stone man over there in Connecticut, Danbury. I don't give a fuck. That's a realistic, like, good match. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 he can get it. He can get it. That'd be cool. hey. I'm proud of you. Man, everybody, I'm coming out to everybody that, that beat my ass. I'm coming out. Shogun is in that list, Nicholas? too. Nicholas? Yeah. yeah. Sakuraba, yeah. boxing fight? Yeah, Sakuraba, yeah. Sure. Yeah, he, but he won't, he won't do no, it. No, I mean, though. Shogun. He still grapples, eh? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. did his tournament in Japan. I love this guy. He's fucking smoking cigarettes between matches. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Imagine. Wait, was that his tournament that you did with Nicky Rod, the Bulls? Yeah, the quintet one. That's Sakurabi. He still competes. What was that? Just like a team, team on team thing. Just some fun, crazy Japanese shit. Tell him know? I want to tell. Call up Sakurabi and tell him I want to box him too. Box him. What well, grappling match for them? No, fuck that. I ain't no grappler. I want to box him. I mean, he's a bit older these days. Yeah, you know? fuck him. I'll, I'll knock his old ass out. <laughs> fuck him. Uh, so, so you fight MMA as well sometimes? Me? Nah, never. You don't want to fight MMA? Nah, I don't think so. Eh? I don't think. Uh, My, what Bear told me that you you an MMA fighter like you one of the best, and but you just don't want to go to the UFC. So nah. why, why is he lying to me? I told him to say that. Oh, okay. But nah. you don't. What, what, why you? Why? Why you? What were you afraid of? Me? Yeah. Getting knocked out. It happens. It don't hurt. <laughs> it don't hurt, brother. You don't feel. It, it. don't hurt until. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever been knocked out before? Yeah, we're talking about. You what, know, what, you know, you just said that's the worst thing. That's the worst thought process. It's embarrassing. Feeling it's embarrassing. Don't but, hurt, but it don't hurt. Don't hurt. You know what hurts? Uh, what hurts for? Okay, for me, in my opinion, what hurts when you get when you fight? Maybe you get your nose broken. That 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 part hurts later. Later, uh, I heard body shots hurt, but I never been dropped from body shots. But leg kicks hurt. Leg kicks hurt. Like, that's what hurt me when I fight. Check leg kicks. kicks. Check kicks hurt. Oh and, and, and you, yeah, if you check a leg kick, oh God. sometimes I'm too I, old uh, to start now. Thirty two. But no, no, because you got a, you got a strong jujitsu base. Yeah, but that's fucking useless. Man, I can I can turn you into a, a, a <laughs> champion. What, 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 what's your weight class? What's your weight class? Uh, what am I today? Two ten today? Oh, you be you be an eighty you be an eighty five or one? Yeah, yeah. All you gotta do is get you some kickboxing training with Chris Riley. He's one of the best. 
And and you don't even need Best wrestling. fucking track suit he's got on. Man, he always clean. He always free. Yeah, well, then they would ruin his seminar game. Then he couldn't do seminars like all around. We're going to make more work. money doing MMA. He turned yeah, to a star. Either. I'm going to get you out there in Qatar. I'm going to get you out there in Qatar making millions of, millions of monies. I ain't passing those Yasada tests out. You know what I mean? I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. I'll get, <laughs> get you out there in Qatar and make millions of monies. You take the piss test for me. We yeah, yeah. We both fail. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. I'll get you out in Qatar making millions of monies. Just let me manage you. I get a, a mere. 15 percent yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tax on five and then another six on the back end actually i, I got offered an mma fight against a woman in japan you know gabby garcia yeah we almost did it she's like six five yeah but then she got a divorce and i don't know what happened there bro I bro know. i would have paid money to see her fight a dude she would have fucked you up <laughs> I would have paid money to see her fuck you up, man. I would, I, get that back going. I know her own, I, I'm friends on Snapchat. Guess. I tried. I tried. No, no, no I like him. I like him. But I want to see Gabby fuck you up. You don't think he could beat up Gabby? Hell no. He just supported he women's rights. He won't even fight him. It's women's rights. He'll yeah. probably, he'll probably, he'll have fuck you ever had an MMA fight? Never. You've never boxed? But I'll take a woman on, you know? You've never boxed? <laughs> no. Nah. It's not true that you and Gordon Ryan got into a fight in Puerto Rico when you left the when you left his squad or something like that. No, no, no fist fight, just uh, online banter, really. But are you guys homies or no? No, no, not at all. No, so at all. no drama. I'm not trying to start any drama. Is it true that you guys got in a, a fight or no? Is that a, a, no, a rumor? No, we just got it. I just troll him on the internet. Uh, but, if you guys did get in a fight, like a straight up fist fight, who, who you think you can take him? A fist fight. Uh, well, that's where most fights start on your feet. What y'all going to If you bump into him, y'all getting, what you going to do? Both of y'all going to lay down on the ground? Come on, motherfucker. Come on. Come in. Hey, we might. You never <laughs> the know. The fuck? You guys want to start out swinging. <laughs> All fights start on your feet. Uh-huh. That's true. That's true. I mean, me, I'd probably lose, to be honest. But Damn, man. What the hey, fuck? He's what? honest. He's we'll honest let, dude. We'll let Nicky Rowe take that battle. You know what I mean? So you, wow. you, don't, know how to, you don't know how to swing a punch at all? No. And you're not interested in doing MMA? I asked, I asked Nick and Rob the same thing. Cause look, you guys are really good at jujitsu. I can turn you guys into some fucking champions and make myself, I mean, make I you mean, guys really rich. If I was a wrestler, I'd be more interested, but jujitsu is fucking useless for MMA, I think. No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. Why do you say that? You're in Volk's camp. What? I, well, <laughs> sub defense, certain things, but I mean, you'd fucking have to be so good to use the submissions. Take a guy down, hold him down, submit him. You know what I mean? I feel like it's not a jujitsu game. I think we could make some like real money. Like we should, we could promote an event with Nicky Rod and Gordon in a in a fight. Power slam on no, a fight yeah, on fight. a fight pass fight. Yeah, they, we get up the money. We get up the money quite a bit for yeah. like, you know, jujitsu. We could make it fight money. And really. you'd be on the undercard. And you, you could you could fight a woman. You could yeah. cut this on on. You know, yeah. promote this thing. Put what, it together. What is the drama? Is there even drama with you guys anymore? or No, because the guy's obviously incredible at what he does, right? Oh yeah, I mean the drama will always be there. You know, teams split up all the time, but uh. I guess it's more to do with the brothers, so I can't really tell that story, but I'll definitely take full advantage. Oh, you got, you got his little brother on your team, too. <laughs> Who's yeah, brother? He stole his yeah, brother. Yeah, he stole his little brother from him. Yeah. It's family. Yeah. Gordon oh, Ramsay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, you got have part, yeah. 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 Gordon Ramsay, little brother, trains yeah. with him. Well, I think ego, egos get in the middle of it. There's a lot of testosterone flowing in the game. How good is Gordon I mean, people, people just like there. people go, uh, okay. go elsewhere. So I know, but, think go. About, but think about this, guys. I'm sorry. Think about this. Think about how... how Shit of a person you got to be, your own brother leaves you and go trains with your, your ops. That's what I'm saying. So, so I'm just saying, I do we see, know the story? Do we know the story? Yeah, we don't know the story. Why did he leave? Why did, the, why did his brother oh, get into it? He will have to tell the story. Come on, man. You know it. Come on. You know You don't have, okay, but is it? it I'll but, tell you afterwards. You tell me if you believe that. All right. <laughs> I, I, think, I think Craig's a neutral guy and he's just going to, he's, yeah, I don't want, I don't want to know issues. This is no, no, I think he I think he just, he just kind of just, he harbored in an individual that was probably like, felt like he was pushed away. Cool. I'm just going to say, uh, you know, I mean, there, there's Nicky Rod too. His Nicky Rod was like they, they were all in the same game, and Nicky Rod and little Nicky, they came to you, and they didn't. They, so they, they both. It means like people went one way for a reason. I, I would imagine, and I, I just don't know. So you they know came I mean? to. There, was that your? That was your gym and, and club and there that they came to. You no, the, we we were all part of one team, and then it split, and then half of us went. Uh, half of us left side of their own team, and then some of those guys stayed. Got well, it. obviously, there's a big feud between the two brothers. So, like, I mean, it started I with the brothers. I wouldn't yeah. want to get but, tell yeah. his story. But it started yeah. with the brothers. Yeah. Just saying. Okay. So, like, the B team was like the, the they kept their their truce, you know, and then the people who sold out and sold their, you know, they, they stayed on the A team, you know. So is John Danaher? Is you think he, you're really smart, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. hey, hey, you know hey, why? You know jokes. why that casting couch joke really hurt him. Did it? Yeah, I think so. That's why hey. you coming back in full circle with the eight teams. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still fucking. How you getting all these? How you getting all these tight, modern I'm gigs? I'm still tight as a whistle, dog. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I fart, it whistles. Hey? It's like, 
And now he's like, oh. <laughs> my, my name's Luke Rockhold. <laughs> so, but when you guys are done, so in terms of just the, the jujitsu drama, because I want to get through that, because I just want to know if it's real or not, and we don't ever get a chance to have you here. There is, a, there is a little bit of beef, but it's about on the mat beef or off the mat beef. Is it about beating someone or someone saying they're better than someone? Because we can't argue that Gordon Ryan's not one of the best, if not the best, right? Oh, for sure. There's no question of that. But yeah. I mean, it's just like uh, if someone says... I would say stupid things. I love just attacking them on the internet, you know? Yeah, so it's like, it. I'll, I'll take that. I'll so this is all battles. off the mat stuff. This has nothing to do with something that happened on the mat of someone getting beat or something? I don't think so, no. Got it. No. Nah. Yeah. So, somebody got beat off on the mat? <laughs> what <are> you So, <laughs> so <laughs> listen, two more. It two more questions man. for you, but I guess it's close to that. Two more <laughs> questions for you. Is uh, is John probably one of the greatest jujitsu coaches minds ever? Is that safe to say? Yeah, I would say so, for yeah. sure, for sure. Did Very you guys nice. learn anything from him that you guys, like, still use in your camp? Or is it something like that That road came to an end and you guys were like, hey, we're all boys, let's go do our own thing? Like, I don't get how a bunch of rugrats start their own squad and are all still friends and are getting along while, you know, handling business and handling training. It seems like a unique story right now. Oh, b yeah, yeah. b we're like fucking Lord of the Flies. There's no Yeah, that's what it there. is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, John's amazing. John, I wouldn't say invented all this all the stuff but he definitely teaches it so fucking well what know, makes what makes john so special i mean because like, he's got he's got a demeanor about him and like, he's obviously henzo started the game out there uh which henzo is an amazing person an amazing coach but then like john, spit it out i don't i don't like to cut people off uh, i gotta hear it now i'm sorry i just now i'm sorry uh, i am kind uh, of no 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 i get it now your name of your gym is b team <laughs> Yeah, where have you been? No, no, no. no he know this. what I'm talking about. No, because nah, he, nah, he's nah, been nah, saying nah. a couple times, but I thought he was. I, I, you thought I, I was just playing in it? No, yeah, it was you, the you, I Nikki. thought he was. No, I, he, I, no, I forget. No, I remember with Nikki, but I forget it was 18 because he'd been making <laughs> so fun of me. They left the team and they that was the A team, kind of like that's, that's the general, like, you know. So, that's what you meant. So yeah, they, created, they created this thing called the B team. You just happened to be off the casting couch and made the A team. See, team. that's what I'm saying. He's been digging jokes right there, and, and I, I didn't. It was. How it, did you not? It was a click because I, I didn't know the name of the, I forgot that the name of Jim was 18. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you guys notice the stuff at home, you, but you it, make it, your, it, it is some rivalry between me and Luke because Luke is like basically trying to take my job. Y'all see? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're working. It, 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 so no, or why? Hey, hold on. Hey, stop right there. No, no, no. Both of you stop. Listen, <laughs> when you're on the couch, no, you we're not. Just trying to make blocks. You yeah. know what I mean? There's certain things you just need to block like, your memories. We've been cordial because the camera cameras and all stuff like that. But now I see everything. Now, now, now it's clear. I'm gonna make this very clear. Now I see where it's coming from. Luke Rockhold is here as a, uh, a a new special guest host. And the reason why is Rampage tends to just leave for like three weeks at a time and go to Vietnam, go to Thailand with Bob Sapp, <laughs> and then go to Shibuya yeah. and run around all day with these robots, then come back. And he has amazing stories to tell, but the problem come, is he leaves me here alone. Luke, yeah. Luke, <laughs> yeah. Luke is coming for my job. That's what yeah. the, that's what. But the Luke is. is not coming for his job. And the community knows already we had a guest host. His name was Tyron Woodley. He did amazing, but then he had a little internet slip up. And so in the meantime. What do you do? The name of the show is Jackson Podcast, not Rockhold Podcast. <laughs> okay. Jackson.com, hey. the number one men's jewelry brand in the world. But no, just so everybody's clear, Luke will be sitting on a lot of these moving forward. Like today we did Tony Ferguson. Luke was with you training. So Rampage is always my co-host. We also have Ryan Sheckler who does these with me as well. Action Sports Podcast. We'll have Twitch, P-Rod. Like we have a lot of things going on, but the show originally started with uh, me and Rampage coming on here and being like, hey, how could we build like an MMA community podcast, but build it into our brand? Because our brand's not an MMA brand. We're the number one men's jewelry brand. But we wanted to do something special. And my whole thing is I've known Rampage for 15 years plus. I trust him with my life. How, you long, you, how long you known Luke? Yeah, just as long. Called, just as long. Same we're saying. Yeah, just as long. When I was, when I was like hey, 20 years old, Luke would make me hey. wait outside the club. And I used to get so happy I would be able to go in the club with no ID. And he'd be like, nah, you're not coming in. You're just driving our car home. And I used to be like- Is he oh. from Orange County? No, he's from LA. But he used to run around with all the models. And Northern, he used to Northern make me Calvary, wait outside. I was like 19. Wait outside with his car keys. I go, bro, I don't want to be valet. I want to go in with you. So I had to like work my way up. But then eventually, you know. Well, well, if he's not trying to take my job, well, how's, how come he's in here all the time now? You like phasing me out. Because you don't want to train and I need someone to spar with. And Luke lets me hit him. Nah, for real. They told me earlier. They said you're on your way out. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, I feel I feel it. <laughs> Listen, I we're doing this that. as a team. Hey, when I walked in the club, Bear was up on the this. couch. He was the guy on the couch like, hey, with the bottles. <laughs> hey, he was the loudest, craziest dude in the whole place. He used to drink back hey, then. Bro, oh, he was doing no. cartwheels up at Hyde. You'd see him doing cartwheels all around the bottle tables and everything. I've never seen him. Bear, 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 was, bear, was, bear was a menace. You know, there was a problem. No, I don't drink. I want to be an athlete. I don't drink. You, you drink, don't you? 
Oh, a lot. What do you yeah. mean, Drake? He does nose beers. Fuck yeah. You know what a nose beer is? I know what it is now. All right, good. So listen, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't even want to start. Don't even start. I already know where this is going. I'm ending it with this. I have one more thing to ask the guy. Can we get through it without any jokes? Yeah. Stop! Stop doing all this. You always touch my leg in the middle of the podcast. I knew. It's I weird. knew it. I knew. He this, always does this. This was, this was going. Yeah, he I knew always it. does this. He's, he's he's giving them signs like yeah. yeah. Bro, I keep hurry, trying to go over. I keep trying to get onto this side. You know what I mean? Like Barry like pulls me in. I was like, all right, Craig. One through five, name the top five greatest uh, jujitsu athlete, grappler, slash in the world. Shit. Yeah, on the spot. Five. Let's yeah. go history. Ever. Let's go Ever. History. history. Ever. History. Drop some history. Yep, drop history Ooh. on us. Show us that you know the game. Hodja, Gordon, Marcelo, Kron. Not Kron, Huffa. Fuck, I feel bad about it. <laughs> I'm pulling that back out, eh? And then number five, I don't know. Huffa Mendes? Yeah, I was Huffa Mendes yeah. for sure. <laughs> Gabby Garcia. You like her, huh? So that was, hey, hey, that, she, was that was Craig's way your type? Is she me? your type, though? So, is she like well, the, you gave me such a fucking excellent review of her services? I was like, oh fuck, I have to. Oh no, no, no. Her and I, her and I, we, her and I, we just we, we've been friends. But I, I'm just saying, is she like is she the type of girl that you would friends? Yeah, yeah. I, I've yeah. seen her at the gym before. Her and I were friends, and she fight in Japan and stuff like that. She's really good friends with Saki Kibara son. You know who that is? Saki Kibara. He's the um, president of Risen. Oh, he used right. to be the president of Pride. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but I'm saying I'm asking a serious question. Is she she's not your type? Yes or no? I think Ooh. she's I think she's a beautiful girl. Is cyborg your type? No, cyborg is very. You know what? Yes, cyborg is very sweet. Have you ever cyborg? Yes, yeah, she's I my type. cyborg. I fuck shit out of cyborg. Yeah. What? Cyborg? She's sweet. I like sweet. I like I like sweet innocent. He's like a 11th degree black belt. He has like the sickest gym in Miami. I'm talking about the Chris Cyborg. Cyborg, <laughs> who is that? ADCC. Chris, what are you talking what the about? Fuck the big hey, cyborg. The girl. What are we talking what about here, dude? Chris Cyborg. Chris Cyborg. No, 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 I'll show you. One cyborg. of the most legendary fighters of all time. No, no, yeah, in the female in division. The female, yeah. What the fuck you talking about? Lost to Amanda Nunes. He's talking about cyborg. Yeah, she lost. Are you yeah. kidding me? Talking bro? about Roberto Abreu. Oh, what are you talking about? Cyborg. Bro, right? all you uh, see is guys. That's her, that's her ex-husband. All he lay, all, Seven-time world no all, champion. That's all, her ex-husband. That's not is even her really? ex-husband. Yeah, that's not even. Cyborg. There's yeah. another cyborg. I, well, no, I don't know what that one is. That's just, uh, he just grapples. He just grapples. Hey, there's, there's a cyborg. He's ADCC legend. Nick Diaz beat the cyborg that was her husband. So you like this you guy. Guys, you guys are just, you her, dude. Her, all bear sees his guys. You know it's all bear sees his guys. He doesn't really understand that. I don't, there's I a don't girl community too. It's not a joke. Her name no, is Cyborg. Her name Chris Cyborg. is Cyborg. Chris, oh, I know Chris Cyborg. Cyborg. Yeah, we're going to get oh, on the show. We're going wow. to get on the show. I've been we're friends show with this. Chris Cyborg for years. She used to come to SC Village. Yeah, now you trying to get on her. Yeah. No. No, real, no, real question. Like, what's Gabby. My, what's Gabby. My, is what's she, my time? Yeah, she your type. Well, I mean, it wasn't that enjoyable the first time, but I would do it again. She's yeah. a nice lady. Gabby, Gabby or, listen, Gabby or the Cyborg. Reason, the only reason why I would ask that is because, like, it's you would you you said you would do a fight against her, and, and um, I felt like you was being honest about that. You wasn't talking about that. And I was going to ask you if she was your type. Like, would it be hard for you to? You I would do be it? hard. Yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, touche. Would, would, it, would it be difficult difficult for you to fight a woman that you sexually attracted to and be doing jujitsu and rolling all in your face all in her month and while she doing triangle chokes? And be, I mean, the makeup sex would be amazing. The actual fight and then the up. what sex? The makeup sex. What's makeup sex? Like after an argument, you know? What is that? The, you never had a fight with your girl, then, you know, then makeup? Like you make up, then you have makeup sex? That's, that's really I good. will never wear makeup, dog. <laughs> so with, <laughs> with this one, I mean, on, on the, I mean, there's the first and then the second. And then the second, are you going to be the, the, are you the sensual bottom or are you the power top in this, this next venture together? With Gabby. <laughs> but, yo, hey, where are you going? Me, Yo, we started. Enjoy your new co-host. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm Bear to GDO. That's Rampage Jackson. I know he looked like Tyrone Woodley now because he lost 25 pounds, but it ain't. We had Craig Jones, the one and only. Luke Rockhold, the male model. This is a complete disaster, but we did the best we could, and we hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We haven't even finished. He already took off the headphones. Uh.